Netflix animation is going through a rough time. Now, we have some exclusive info on why that's happening. With all the Netflix cancellations and their animation departments getting smaller, you gotta ask, why? Audiences are left in the dark, but today, we have a few answers. I reached out to a guy named Charlie Gavin, who's been in the industry, on shows like Harvey Beaks and Big City Greens. Right now, he's also working to fund his own cartoon, Bugstown, which is meant to fight back against all the awful news in animation and give his workers fair treatment. You can actually support Bugstown right now on Indiegogo. Anyway, about Netflix. They're not great. Charlie recently talked with a Netflix executive that got fired, which gives us clues about where the platform is headed next. One of the main predictions from this former executive were that things were going to get worse before they got better. Don't be surprised if your favorite show gets cancelled out of nowhere, since they prioritize ordering a single batch of episodes and not renewing. In terms of Netflix animation as a studio, Charlie mentions that they're scaling things back as a whole. Instead, Instead of making all their shows in-house, they're buying distribution rights from other studios to make cartoons for them. An example is Atomic Cartoons, who worked on a lot. Charlie believes that Netflix didn't realize what it takes to actually make an animation studio. They were originally seen as a tech company, and tech companies make quick changes. They can rely on algorithms and numbers more than anything else, which is a fatal flaw when creative projects get cancelled before they can shine. While things suck right now, Charlie still has hope about what comes next. He thinks Netflix's strategy of working with smaller studios could be great in the long run. Even when the studio is making horrible decisions, and when everything seems bad, just know it won't be that way forever. Animation will eventually recover. Of course, you can join the fight right now. It's important for us to stand up against these companies who only care about numbers over people. That's why Charlie is trying to make Boxtown. A mediocre detective with a penchant for cons teams up with a true crime obsessed eight year old orphan to solve the mysteries of Boxtown, a neon mega city on the cusp of being overrun by violence and greed. The team reached their initial goal, but they need more funding to make the whole thing a reality. If you're interested in indie animation and you want a better future for the medium, check out Boxtown's Indiegogo page. We have the power to make a difference. As well as the knowledge that you're helping to fund a beautiful new future of independent animation. A future where collaborators are paid fairly and creators own the rights to the projects they create. But anyway, that's all for this video. Subscribe for more awesome cartoon videos, give a thumbs up, and comment below to let me know what you think. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.